down here. We've been, you know, this drought's been setting up for the past few weeks, right, with our lack of rainfall. But now just recently, within the past couple days, we finally started to get in some meaningful rain chances. And take a look at the radar yesterday. You see those storms firing up across the area. Dobson, where Kelly was in that package there, uh, got a good downpour yesterday. And even last night, we had a one lone thunderstorm roll through the triad area. Hopefully didn't wake you up or anything, but some some decent rainfall totals in parts of the coverage area yesterday. Uh, our climate side at PTI Airport got three tenths of an inch of rain, which it's not too bad, right? And that brings our total for July so far to just over nine tenths of an inch. We're nearing that inch mark for the month. That's already more rain than we got for the entire month of June. So we're, we're making progress. We're running above normal for the month and still above normal for the year, even though recently we've had that dry stretch. And with these meaningful rain chances returning, we're kind of stepping in on the right foot uh, to help improve the drought conditions. A beautiful, beautiful sunrise on our Saturday morning over Winston-Salem, those pink cotton candy colors with the clouds. It's 73. The sun is coming up. The dew point is 70, though, so it feels very, very muggy outside. It's going to be another hot day. And again, we have heat advisories that are issued once again for at least part of the Piedmont. Locally, that's Alamance, Randolph and Montgomery counties where the feels like temperatures this afternoon will be between 100 and 109. Uh, that could cause some concern for heat related illnesses if you're not careful. So just be mindful. It's going to be hot today. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Uh, low 90s for highs in the triad, but with the heat and humidity uh, factored in, feeling more like the triple digits. A better chance for rain and storms later this afternoon. They should be scattered across the triad area. Today, the triad has the best chance for rain. Foothills and mountains, chances lessen as you head off to the west. Low 90s for the foothills today, and the mountains should be mainly dry for Saturday afternoon with just a low 20% chance of a pop-up shower or storm here and there. Low 80s for highs, not too bad up there in the mountains today. They should be mainly dry. A front has moved in and it stalled across the area, so that will be the focus for pop-up storms the next couple of afternoons. There's the radar about 6 o'clock, and then we'll move into Sunday as well. Another round of scattered storms develop across the Piedmont Tri area that Sunday afternoon about three o'clock. Call me crazy, but we actually have a risk of flash flooding this weekend. I know we're in a drought, so it it's like what? What are you talking about? I'm not crazy. OK, our drought uh, conditions, the soil is just so dry. It can only handle so much rain so quickly. And some of these thunderstorms this weekend could be slow movers and dump a, a big amount of rain in a short period of time. So Soil can only take so much of it. Just keep an eye out for those heavy downpours over the weekend. Uh, of course, the tropics right now, we've been talking about barrel for what feels like months now. It was a hurricane that made landfall near Cancun, Mexico yesterday, but that land interaction really just tore it apart. It, it's a pretty pitiful looking system in the Gulf this morning. Uh, just a tropical storm with 60 mile per hour winds, but the Gulf waters are very warm. And so it will likely re-strengthen into a hurricane before making landfall somewhere near Corpus Christi, Texas on Monday. And then from there, the system will lose its tropical characteristics and begin to fizzle out. Just bring some rain and extra moisture to parts of the deep south. We're almost done talking about barrel. Here's your weekend forecast. Uh, overall, best chances for rain will be in the triad, uh, less so as you head off to the west in the mountains and foothills. And our seven day, a very similar pattern throughout the next week with highs near 90 and a daily chance for afternoon storms.